Did you see me on 60 Minutes last night? I was surprised. Um, you know, I sometimes watch it now. I don't watch it every week as I did when Mike Wallace and the boys and uh, Leslie Stahl uh, were reigning. Um, once in a while I watch, but I was watching last night. And they had a, their lead story is on the Oath Keepers, which is a far right group. And the Oath Keepers have been around since 2009. Um, there's not many of them. Maybe 5,000, that's the number, that, the top number. Um, the Anti-Defamation League, which despises the Oath Keepers, says there are 1,000 to 3,000 of them. That's nothing. There are more Antifa in Portland, Oregon than Oath Keepers all over the United States. Well, anyway, 60 Minutes put, picked out the Oath Keepers because their theory, the program's theory, is that the Oath Keepers were involved in the Capitol riots of January 6th. Okay, so the head guy, let me get this straight, the head guy of the Oath Keepers is Stuart Rhodes, okay? And he's been the head guy since the inception of the group. I interviewed him on February 2nd, February 18th, I'm sorry, February 18th, 2010, and 60 Minutes used the clip. Go. Rhodes enlisted in the Army at 18 and was honorably discharged at 24. He went on to graduate from Yale Law School and became a constitutionalist, later warning America was on the brink of government tyranny. In 2010, he told Bill O'Reilly that it was up to current and former members of the military and police who took an oath to defend the Constitution to stop that tyranny. Commander-in-Chief is the president by our Constitution. Mm -hmm. If he issues an order, are you telling people not to obey the order if they don't like it? If it's unconstitutional, yes. So each soldier makes up his mind whether the order he's given is constitutional or not? It's a heavy burden to me. But if, if you obey an unlawful order, you can also be in trouble. Okay, so you saw my skepticism, and I dismissed him and the Oath Keepers 11 years ago. Um, you know, you can't have uh, military and police saying, well, I'm not going to obey that order because I don't think it's, unconst it's constitutional. I mean, what are they, talk show hosts now? You can have a talk show host can say, oh, I don't think it's, un it's constitutional, but you can't have police or military doing that. Okay, it's, you'd have nothing. You'd have absolute violence and chaos in the military and law enforcement. So I kind of interviewed the guy, he laid it out, and we waved goodbye, and that was the end of him, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Now, um, did the Oath Keepers have anything to do with, not, with the uh, Capitol thing? Maybe, maybe. But here's something interesting in that story. I don't think 60 Minutes proved that the Oath Keepers were behind the insurrection. I mean, they may have been involved on the periphery. Um, but they used a clip, they being 60 Minutes, that kind of balanced it out a little bit. Go. So on January 6th, when you see, you know, these people wearing that same emblem storm into the Capitol, what was your reaction? Some of those people with those keepers could have been BLM. They could it have could have been, been a false anybody. flag as far as I'm concerned. You don't think they were Oath Keepers? Well, they we, could don't have been. we don't, we don't we know. We weren't there. And they're stupid people. It's stupid. We don't do that. That's not Oath Keepers. See, now that was put into that piece to provide a little bit of balance. I was surprised to see that. 